other sinners in churches? Are churches even comfortable with sinners in church? I want you to do two things for me. Take a look at this short video. It will open your eyes about sinners in church. And then even as you are watching, click the share button because there are some people who would need to hear what you are hearing. May God open your eyes as you watch. The ministry of Jesus is therefore not best known for condemnation of sinners, nor for exclusion of sinners. I can spend all day talking about the inclusive ministry of Jesus. Woman like the woman caught in the very act of adultery. Woman like the woman with the alabaster box. Inclusive ministry of Jesus. Paul says to Timothy, Know this, Timothy. Know this. Christ Jesus came into the world. Timothy, don't forget this. It's like calling a young man. Timothy, don't you forget this when you minister. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And you see me? I am the chief of them. But here, here, here's our reality. When I preach this message, and I, I, I've, I've had this discussion with people, they are very, very uncomfortable. Even to put out a poster that said, sinners in church, that offended some people. It's like we don't want sinners in church. Don't put that out there. The notion of our church, this Kingston Baptist Church, the notion of the church being a hospital is uncomfortable for many people. And not just those who are KBCers, but when, whenever we put our church culture out there, we make no bones about the kind of church we want to be, the Christ kind of church. This is a profound message. I want you all to get this. When we unapologetically put who we are out there, there are yapping mouths that say, oh, that church. Because they're uncomfortable as if, and they, they put it out there as if, but, but they're entertaining sinners at that church. Hear me well. You all need to hear this message. They're entertaining sinners at that church. You know, such and such is good there. And they start bringing up the man's past. You all hear me? And when you see the man, because you know his history, and you know his past, and when you see him going there, you say, that church, they, they, they accommodating sinners now. I've heard the talk. When certain ladies and, and certain people, because you saw her in a costume, and, 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 and they took a picture, and they put it there, or because her name was all across Facebook on some issue, and she, hey, 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 but, but, hey, hey, but, hey. And it's a shame when you encounter a church that is not for sinners. I have to say it's a shame when you encounter a church that is not for sinners. And the mentality of exclusivity would have people like the Pharisees, like people <laughs> like the tax collectors on the outskirts. You can't come in here. So Jesus came into this culture of accepted exclusivity of religion. And in an in-your-face move, knowing that it was going to be talked about in an in-your-face move in this culture of the exclusivity of religion, he reached out his hands on a reject and he said, I want you. Church is not about rules. Church is about loving God and loving people. Sinners need church. What the church has become is not so much like the father, but what the church has become is more like the older brother. Because when the older brother saw, when the older brother saw what was going on, the brother like, this is ridiculous, this is crazy, I ain't for that, this is nonsense, I ain't going home, I ain't doing that, I'm not going to be a part of that, I'm not complicit with that, that is wrong, who does that? I don't know yet that everybody gets this message. And you know how I would know it? If I were to paint a sign and put one there, one there at that gate, and one there at that gate, a big old sign, and take out a billboard over there and say, at KBC, sinners are welcome. I wonder how many people will love that. How many of you will love if I paint a cross and billboards and said, KBC, sinners are welcome. 
But let me give you the converse and then I'm done. And those of you who are not okay with that, how about if I paint one there and there and there and billboards everywhere and said, KBC sinners are not welcome. At KBC, sinners are not welcome. Which would you rather that we put up? And which one is more congruent with the message of Jesus? A church where sinners are welcome or a church where sinners are not welcome? Think about it. Thank you so much for watching and for sharing this important clip about sinners in church. Uh, just being very transparent about the kind of church we are. A church that understands that God loves people and that we offer a place at this church for all to come and experience the life-changing power of God. We are inclusive. We shut no one out. We want you to encounter God in a way that will change your life. You will love it. Visit with us here at Kingston Baptist Church. Continue to follow us online and get in contact with us so that we can interact with you. May God bless you. I look forward to hearing from you.